Hello, my name is Dr. Nicholas Gledhill, and I'm the horn instructor here at Colorado Mesa University. I'm here today to talk you through this year's Colorado Allstate Etudes and give a few pointers that may help you with your preparation. Before we dive into a specific etude, keep in mind that both of these are in the same key of E major. If you're not familiar with it, four sharps, you may want to do some scale patterns or just work on the scale itself a bit first before you really start developing the individual etudes. We're going to begin today with number 80, moderato. Subdividing 16ths and 6 8 can be tricky if you're not used to playing in compound time signatures. Spend some time with a metronome with the triplet subdivisions turned on so you get used to it. Then, if you still cannot pace the 16th runs correctly, reduce it down to the 8th notes first. You can do this by taking the second full measure, for example. I can take the 16th note run on beat 1 and reduce it to 8th notes by playing the 1st, 3rd, and 5th 16th note as 8ths, turning it into an arpeggio instead of a scale. This will maintain the melodic contour, but also allows you to solidify your subdivision with an easier rhythm first. Then you can gradually add the 16th back in or do it all at once. Let me show you. I'm going to take the first two measures and I'm going to play them as eighth notes only. I'll keep the melodic contour and then I'm going to add the 16th in. And then you can do the same thing with measure three and four. And that way you make sure you get the yut, dut, dut, yut, dut, dut, yut, dut, dut feel to the music. Then add the sixteenths in. And you can keep them nice and in time. In the second strain, after the double bar, the arpeggiated lines can be a little awkward if we're using the standard second valve on the F side of the horn for the F sharps. Because everything else is happening on what we typically do on the B flat side, consider using trigger one and two, the B flat side fingering for F sharp. It may be a bit more challenging at first, particularly if you're not used to being on the B flat side for F sharp, but in the long run, it's going to make a lot of these finger combinations much easier and less awkward. That being said, no matter what you do, enough diligent practice at a slow tempo will be enough. So you can play through number 80. For our second etude, number 79, Largo de Moto, be cautious that you're respecting the time signature and tempo marking exactly. Seeing the 32nd notes might trigger some panic if you forget to do the math and proportions and realize that they're just 16th notes when the 8th note gets the beat. Turn on a metronome, make sure your brain doesn't try to rush through them, and you'll be fine. Beyond that, ensure that you're using consistent, focused air through all of your sustained notes so you don't lose the center of your sound or run the risk of chipping the first note following your sustains. Here is number 79, Lago de Moto.
I hope these tips help you in your Allstate preparations. If you have any questions or would like to schedule a lesson with me to prepare these etudes or any other audition material, feel free to email me at ngledhill at coloradomesa.edu. Thank you and happy practicing.